Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see about the basic introduction about the map nodes. What are the map nodes and how to use them? So one article is there by GIS Geography. They are giving the definition about the map nodes. So map nodes are quick and easy way to add and save feature or annotations to map in ArcGIS Pro. The best reason to use them is to mark up a map without having to create a feature class beforehand. So what happened actually here? So you can able to mark point, line, polygon, or any feature without creating a feature class. So how to use them? Like suppose I will go to any particular locations and I'm interested to digitize this lake, okay? And then I want to show this road or anything. So this map nodes will be useful for them. So like suppose I will create this bright map nodes, okay? So once I will click here, it will add here bright bright map nodes you can take any map nodes light paired or pastel so i have taken here bright map nodes if i'll click here you can able to see point nodes line nodes and polygon nodes so in the point nodes you can able to see different different annotations are given there okay in line also you can able to see thick line you want thin line what kind of line you want also polygons are there so how to add them in map so just need to click on the edit option and first we need to click on the create as we'll click on the create you will see what are the things are here that will be appear here okay so these are the same thing as a line we have seen that line is added here okay so same line is there after that <clears throat> you want to see the polygon polygons are also there so like I will take the polygon okay I can take any polygon like I will take this and if I want to draw here as a polygon I can able to draw this water body without creating a feature class or without creating any shape file we can able to digitize this feature so when I want to finish I will just double click here and this will digitize okay after that when i will see here you can able to see in the attribute table okay this polygon is added here you can able to see the date and time and also area we can able to see here so all the details are there if you want to add a name or any note here you can able to add so like i will digitize any other feature like suppose this forest park i will digitize so you can able to take any polygon and whatever the color you want to show that polygon you can that polygon you can able to take and you can able to digitize okay so this way suppose you want to do with the line okay this line feature so just click on this line nodes okay you want thick line thin line so that line is here you can take that line and you can able to start digitizing it. Okay. Now if you want to show any point feature, okay, IIT Mumbai or anything, that also you can able to take any point and just add here. Okay. So that point will also add in the point attribute table okay so similar way we can able to take point line and polygon feature and we can able to digitize this now if you want to do with the another color or any another road you can just click on that and you can able to digitize it now you will have this attribute table okay open attribute table and there are two polygons i have digitized okay as you will see here this polygon and this polygon and i'm interested to export them as a feature class so just right click data export feature okay in which folder you want to save you can provide your output locations and just click on the okay so once you'll click on the okay 
will see that if I uncheck this, I have exported this feature. Just right click, open attribute table, and you will see both the polygon which we have digitized, it is exported. So this way, without creating a feature class or without creating any shape file, we can able to digitize and we can able to take the benefit of this nodes. You can take any other nodes if you want, like a postal map nodes. And if you'll add it here, you will see the different kinds of symbols are some there. Okay. So that also, if you want to use, you can able to use this symbol as well. So size difference is there. If you want to show some bigger one, you can able to show some bigger one. So there are different kinds of map nodes are there. Hope so you understand these concepts. If you want any more information, you can comment us. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.